Hello everyone, this is Ryan uh, on present day, um, uh, sometime in uh, week 21, uh, 2012. But we are going to actually go back in time. As the title suggests, uh, this is going to be the week 2 vlog that I, I did do. Uh, there are some things that are going on that I just want you to realize. After this vlog, I really didn't do much of anything before going to the hospital. And you'll hear um, in this vlog my intestines like gurgling, feces trying to pass through. The problem was an intestinal blockage, but there'll be more about that in the, the next vlog that I do. But anyway, this is, this is the week two vlog, just, just some stuff that I found interesting uh, during that time. And now I get to release it, so let's get to the week two vlog, and I will see you guys uh, presently in the next vlog. This week has been boring, and I feel like crap, so... This week I'm just going to give you a couple of updates on um, my faves, uh, what's been going on with uh, production Hobbit, because I think I showed you a couple uh, Hobbit production videos, but they've released another and a trailer, and also something else. So my week's starting right now. This is my week. First thing I wanted to show you guys is, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm a big Lego person. Plan to use, like I got Legos here, here, plan to use for stop motion videos sometime in the future. It's one of my, one of my uh, projects that I'm doing. But uh, they are going to be making Hobbit and Lord of the Rings Legos official. And I am psyched. That is so cool. And speaking of The Hobbit, like I said, there is, I think there's only just one other production of video, but there is also uh, Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey, the trailer. Oh, tummy hurting. Okay, just for those of you who don't know what that was, that was my stomach gurgling because it is healing and my intestines have a hard time uh, stuff passing through so if you could hear that I'll put it in the vlog and yeah that's usually the sound it makes and it's not that I mean it's kinda of half painful half done half uncomfortable it's just ends up getting annoying after it goes like four like six hours and it, like five to ten minutes at a time okay here we are I'm just gonna pop it up big in the screen because this is what I call awesome Ask me once if I had told you everything there was to know about my adventures. Bilbo Baggins, I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. I can't just go running off into the blue. I am a Baggins. Wait! Of Baggins. Anyway, you can watch the whole... <laughs> you can watch the whole trailer online. There's a lot more of it. I'm not going to show it all. You can find it for yourself. It's awesome. Loves that teaser trailer, and uh, The Hobbit The Unexpected Journey is going to be coming out December 14th. That's the day before my birthday uh, this year in 2012, and I'm going to be 30 years old <laughs> um, this coming December. So, yeah, my 20s, goodbye. So I think the last day of my 20s, the last day of being 29, I'll be watching The Hobbit. <laughs> and then I'll be 30, and... Life's over. <laughs> anyway, so that's the trailer, and then we also have a production video as well. And it looks like they're going on location, and not just studio sets, but actually on location to places. And there's all the... Dwarves and boats, eh? Everybody thinks they're a sailor. So welcome to our new blog, which is about the logistics of location shooting. We've been traveling pretty much the length and breadth of New Zealand shooting locations for The Hobbit. It's been great to get outside. It's been great to get that texture of Middle Earth into the movie. After many, many weeks of shooting in the studio, we've established our characters, we've established our story, and it was finally time to get on the road and establish the landscapes of Middle Earth. Yay! So the 
So anyway, you can watch that production video as well on the Hobbit vlog site. It's a great site to go to with any any type of Hobbit Hobbit news that they're gonna have. So and that was an on location site. So I'll leave a link to that for that and all the other production videos. And that's just something that I've been wanting to talk about the last few months and um, just with disease and everything just felt too tired too so there's that and then I got one more thing to show you guys that is not Hobbit related and I'll show you that in a second. Okay the last thing I wanted to show you this week and this is funny it's just a week of showing you some of the things I like. Ding dong! I must have got mail. No not really. <laughs> but anyway, I um, wanted to show you this. Now, this uh, this video really is not. I, I want to call it for kids. It's 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 got Legos, but it is a little violent. So just 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 so you know. Um, but I love it. It's a 27 minute film, and this this brick animator spent like um, several years just animating these bricks, and it's basically built on the uh, Halo universe. He used uh, Legos and and he basically made a set from the Halo universe and just uh, has these guys just shooting at each other uh, the whole time. And the animator's name is Alex Kubes and he uh, the owner of Kubers Studios. You can see that up there. But I just thought, I mean, this is this is great. This is a great type of uh, Lego animation. This has really inspired me to do my own type of uh, Lego animation. Probably not not stuff to this scale, but small stuff. I mean, just so I can get used to it because I haven't really done stop motion animation. So I think it'd be a really interesting for me thing for me to try and just get used to. It's amazing you can do all that with Legos. Anyway, like I said, it's a 27 minute video. I'll send, I'll, I'll put the link underneath the description um, along with the other things that I showed you uh, so you can, you know, get them. Like said, Cooper Studios. Uh, Alex has also made a couple other animations as well. Um, set in other like video game type universes, so just go to his uh, YouTube page, check him out. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description so you can check him out and uh, like him on Facebook too, because he is on Facebook. So, see you next week.